This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, this is Dmitry with Hardware Canucks, and the Node series from Fractal Design just got an update with the Node 804. This line is designed with a small form factor in mind, and the 804 is actually the largest within the Node family, yet pretty compact, offering excellent space efficiency, and priced at over $100, this just might be the cube case for you. The wide and short shell design has gotten more attention as more and more chassis are moved onto the desk for that glorious showcase. Two thirds of the front panel is covered in brushed aluminum plate with the ventilation for the rest and the large size window to reveal all the internal goodies. On the side we have a pair of USB 3 ports, power button, audio jack so there's no reset button unfortunately and a slot loading optical cutout. The front panel just pops open that can house dual SSDs and a spot for the optical drive behind which we've got dual dust filters as a total of four 120mm fans are supported with one included. Also the dust filters are accessible from the bottom of the chassis without needing to remove the front panel. It is spaced appropriately to allow adequate airflow in the left chamber, but if the optical drive is installed, they'll be kind of flush right against the top dust filter in the right chamber, so airflow will suffer. The top panel is just a pig mesh with a built-in filter to catch all the settling dust, uh, and the fins are angled towards the back, directing some of the airflow noise away from the user, so that's good news. And behind the panel we find a variety of fan options, so the right chamber supports radiators up to 280mm, given you remove the drive cages, while the main chamber is compatible with 240mm radiators, as fan holes are spaced as far to the left to avoid clearance issues with the motherboard. And you are kind of starting to see the beauty of the 804, as its water cooling options are truly impressive for this form factor. You can still get dual 140mm fans in the main chamber, but due to height restrictions, 280mm rads are for the right chamber only. And one thing Fractal Design did really well as well is uh, sort of the seamless integration between the two chambers with large cutouts for cable management and any size water cooling tubing to pass through. The 804 is equipped with more fans at the rear, allowing excellent cooling in both compartments with both rear fans included. There's also a speed fan adjustment for up to three fans that is powered through a SATA port, something I'm happy to see, and black cables for simple routing. Fractal Design also made sure to fully dustproof the 804 as two more filters are included at the bottom. So now let's take a closer look inside and we get this usual taste of fractal attention to detail with the white blade fans, PCI brackets and the drive cages are all white and full black sleeved cables. Now this is a micro ATX chassis so many components have been moved behind the motherboard to keep within the height limits of the 804, however it still supports graphics cards up to 12.5 inches and 11.4 inches with the bottom front fan installed. The bottom of the main chamber can house two SSDs or three and a half inch drives and if additional cooling is required, two 80mm fans are supported. And coming around to the other chamber, the drive cage allows for a total of eight three and a half inch drives uh, to be installed, uh, unfortunately no SSD support here. You mount each drive with screws and they do sit on rubber grommets to prevent from vibrations, but I still would have liked to see some type of toolless mounting. Positioning of each cage is also flexible, for example you can mount uh, one of them in front of the power supply, you still have over 190mm of clearance, but you do lose out on uh, these convenient velcro straps for cable management, and there's also very little room left behind the drive cage, making cable routing more difficult. Also the middle rail that is needed to secure either drive cage up top doesn't allow any top fans to be installed. So for example if you want to have just one drive cage on the top position, the other fan slot is left underutilized as there's no clearance for mounting. I also would have liked horizontal drive orientation instead as this makes swapping and replacing any of the drives so much easier as with the default vertical mount, replacing any drive inside the cage requires the removal of the entire assembly. And starting with our build, I really do love the large velcro straps in front of the power supply to manage some of that clutter right away. And there are cutouts in the frame to allow front panel connectors to be uh, routed properly. And the same goes for the rest of the internals, as large cutouts at the bottom and the side are well positioned for clean cabling. And just to show off how the Note 4 handles water cooling, 
Here's a system with a 120mm rad mounted to the front, 240mm radiator up top in the same chamber. Drive cage in the opposite chamber has been repositioned to the bottom for this type of setup with a 280mm radiator and push pull for an incredibly powerful cooling setup that's going to be very attractive for many builders who don't want to compromise on either the storage nor the radiator options. And I do have to say the Note 84 is definitely one of the more appealing chassis within the rest of the dual chamber and cube offerings as its water cooling support is totally impressive. The case is fully dustproof with easy to remove filters and excellent cutouts to allow a seamless routing between chambers. We have long GPUs and power supplies are not a concern and storage options are both adequate and flexible to suit your configuration. Now my main gripe with the Note 804 is actually the drive cage system itself. It lacks SSD support, actually quite inconvenient if any drive needs replacement. Also you cannot utilize the top fan slot with just one of the cages installed as the middle rail is on the way and I feel this space could potentially house even more mechanical drives using a different cage system with better space utilization. However, Fractal Design has released a highly competitive dual chamber chassis complementing both enthusiast builds and storage oriented as well. And we're giving it the Herbert Knucks damn good and damn good value awards. As for $110, there's really nothing like it on the market. But what do you guys think of this Node 804? And would you potentially consider this type of cube design for your next build? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more similar content. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.